Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. The Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 7.35 p.m. We'll be talking about winter storm and ice storm warnings from Texas to the Tennessee Valley. And also the bitter cold that is going to be coming into the Northeast, particularly New England, for Friday night into Saturday. And there'll be other subject matters, including the long range. That's tonight at 735. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. Got salt, got sand, and this spring, they'll have mulch. And in the meantime, everything you need to get through the winter and maybe if you're thinking about spring, they've got it too. 631-756-1125 is the phone number and the website is omnitruevalue.com. So let's go back to that watches and warnings map. And uh, we have uh, winter storm warnings for much of central and northeast Texas, southeastern Oklahoma into Arkansas. They turn into ice storm warnings uh, for the rest of Arkansas into western Tennessee. This is going to this is a widespread icing event that is occurring from Texas northeastward uh, into uh, Kentucky and even into central Tennessee. But meanwhile, it's pretty quiet over the rest of the country. We've got a few winter weather advisories showing up in northwest Montana, and that really is about it. Now, we had a little bit of snow uh, last night and this morning with an emphasis on a little bit. And that uh, is thanks to a cold front that has moved on through. It's a chilly day in the Northeast, and we're kind of on the edge here of the cloud line. And to the south, we have clouds that extend across the mid-Atlantic states down into that ice storm that's going on in, in uh, Texas and in the middle lower Mississippi Valley. There are waves of low pressure that are moving along it, and another wave is going to be coming by for tonight and i think that might produce uh, another period of snow sometime let's say between 1 a.m in and 7 a.m and 7 a.m south central and southeastern pennsylvania across new jersey the lower hudson valley into southern new england and long island uh, not everybody will see it uh, but i think uh, there'll be some and and the coating is certainly possible because we do have colder temperatures around i think we're going to be in the upper 20s and low 30s during the overnight so if it snows steadily for an hour or two maybe you get a coating maybe somebody at the outside chance gets an inch out of this and then that wave goes out and you'll notice a second wave of moisture coming out of texas and into arkansas and that is going to be moving eastward that's the last wave of of the series here uh so uh that one is going to be uh, a when it goes offshore, it's going to become a major storm when it gets into northeastern Canada, and that brings down bitter cold air. In the meantime, on uh, the latest surface map, there's your front uh, down into southern Virginia. Uh, the wave that is sitting in northwestern Virginia, there's another wave that's uh, plotted uh, down in southern Tennessee, and that stationary boundary goes all the way back down to the Gulf of Mexico. It's in the 20s across much of uh, central and eastern Texas. Uh, we're in the 20s also in Arkansas, teens and low 20s in Oklahoma. Uh, and in western Tennessee, it's in the 20s. So you get the idea. This is where the winter weather is. The bitter cold air is not on this particular surface map that's going to be coming in for Friday and Saturday. Seven-day precipitation amounts, not much. We're talking about less than a tenth of an inch uh, throughout much of the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states. You really have to get down into the Carolinas and points south and west into Texas, where we've got anywhere from a half an inch to as much as an inch and a half plus, and also along the coast of the uh, northwest from northern California on up through Oregon and Washington. And with respect to probabilities here, we're going to take a look at the uh, probability for freezing rain. This is uh, for a tenth of an inch of ice accretion uh, in the next 72 hours, and you're seeing where it is. It's it, pretty much a big bullseye there of 80 to 100 percent in uh, central Texas and extending into western Tennessee, a quarter of an inch of ice accretion, and that's a serious ice storm. Uh, we're talking also in central Texas where the probabilities of 80 percent or higher and 50 percent or higher across Arkansas, northwestern Mississippi, and a small portion of southwestern Tennessee. There's not a whole lot when it comes to snow that is going on. 
uh, in, in the uh, U.S. at the moment. It's primarily this ice storm situation. If we look at the probability for snow for at least two inches in the next 72 hours, uh, it is mostly uh, way up in upstate New York around the Great Lakes. This is through Friday morning, by the way, and a little spot there in northernmost Maine and also in and around Lake Michigan. That really is it as far as snow is concerned. And then if you go out in the west, uh, we also have minimal amounts of snow showing up. And notice, by the way, in the area that we have the ice storm, uh, there isn't uh, much, if any, snow that's part of this uh, particular equation. So as we uh, check out what the models are doing here, again, it's another wave going by tonight. Uh, we're, we'll bring this uh, to the northeast. You see it here. Uh, little snow gets in there. Some models more so than others. A lot of the short-range guidance is a little more bullish than the global models are. And then that moves away. Then on Thursday, here comes the last wave that brings out mostly rain in the mid-Atlantic and southeast and goes offshore. We don't get any of that. Uh, we're just going to stay after tomorrow morning. It'll just be dry and cold. Temperatures may actually edge up a little bit on Thursday into the low 40s. And here comes the Arctic front for Friday. And when it arrives sometime Friday morning, it, it may produce a narrow band of snow squalls. I'm going to throw in the possibility that that could happen. Uh, and then, of course, the wind is going to increase sharply from the north. And that is going to bring down some bitter cold air for Friday night into Saturday morning. Uh, this will be, I think, will definitely be colder uh, than the uh, what we saw on uh, Christmas weekend. And I just want to show you here. Uh, the uh, temperature forecast, this is the European model, uh, which is the coldest of all the models uh, and has been for the last several days. Uh, forecasting by Saturday morning, a low of zero in New York City, a low of seven in Philadelphia, uh, minus five in Scranton, minus five in Middletown, minus 10 in Poughkeepsie, minus 11 in Hartford and Providence, 12 below in Boston, 14 below in Albany. Uh, and the numbers get into the minus 20, minus 30 range as you go further north uh, into upstate New York and on up into northern New England. The good news here is that this will play out. Saturday will be in the upper teens and low 20s. By Sunday, we'll be back up in many areas, especially from New York City south. Uh, we'll be back up into the 40s. Uh, and there might even be a rain shower late in the afternoon or evening. So all this bitter cold air that comes in outside of maybe a snow squall chance Friday morning, uh, this will play itself out. And then when it does precipitate, it'll be rain and you won't see a flake or an ice pellet. It is amazing how weather works sometimes, but uh, this is the kind of winter uh, that it is. Weather in 5 is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. Don't forget tonight, the Joe and Joe Weather Show live at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time on my YouTube channel.